Shalom, brothers and sisters from the nation of Israel, Yasharel. This is Miss Lady Lifestyle, Yolanda Judah. And um, I got a new setup. <laughs> and I pray that this is acceptable for the Most High God to do His work for His uh, holy servant, anointed servant, son, um, shepherd, redeemer. Woo! Our King that shall come upon this earth and direct our steps and um, and we're his people. So I pray that the blood of the Lamb, Yahushua HaMashiach, um, the Christ, has spoken the word through Holy Scriptures and he was manifest in flesh. And I just want to know that this is acceptable, that it shall be easy from the heart, from the spirit, and to give you the word, the edification that was given to me to give to y'all. So we know now that we're totally at the end, and we know that the mark of the beast is here. The words that they use, the systems that they set up, um, as as growing towards that capability. We know what words to say. We know who directs our steps, and and as humble as we can be, but as vigilant as we can be, hallelujah, all glory to the Creator. You know He's already victorious, so they can try all that they want. You know that we're going to reign with Christ. We endure to the end, you know, and also the Most High knows that He is leading them, leading them, leading them to Armageddon you know he's making them divided all glory to the creator he is making them want to charge us all glory to the creator because he ultimately knows we are his people and we went through our trials and tribulations but we are rich you know in spirit you know, make you know, not their fake dollar bills, but we are rich in spirit, in education, and um, and we're gonna edify each other and come together because we are called to gather and to be His people, and what a great, great position to be in, and um. I pray that y'all know your tribes. Uh, I know my tribe. I pray. I am from the tribe of Judah. And we know that Christ, Yahushua HaMashiach, is from the tribe of Judah. I pray that the Gentile nations that are going to cleave with us, cleave with us, and make sure that we go safely into our wilderness and will be protected and fed and loved and taught all together so that we know when we look to our left and our right <laughs> that we know that they love the Most High Yah too. This is going to be our judgment. I pray that we are counted worthy to cross over and to the kingdom and receive his blessings, his love from Abba Yah, our Elohim. And I, I read the Cypher Bible, which is, you know, has the name, you know, instead of the title, like Lord and God, it has Yahuwah, you know, our Elohim, and it has Yahushua HaMashiach, you know, and, and Adonai and Elohim. You know, so, you know, the scriptures is there. I follow certain um, prophets that he has enlightened with his word, uh, which is like, you know, for example, Big Judah that gives, you know, la land and, you know, land locations and the hidden things. You know, he is really bringing them out to the forefront. I listen to Prophetess, which is... Um, What's her name? She's so good. I post her. But, you know, she gives out the word. You know, I'll leave it in the descriptions below. 
I listen to all the brothers and sisters who are sharing the word and edification. I do watch Mike uh, Malice. He edifies a lot of scriptures for me. And um, I discovered so many scriptures that I haven't um, heard before. But once I realize it, it's in my bank, <laughs> my mental bank. <laughs> so I pray that you too um, are led in this direction. Um, you know, so it has been a blessing. All right, so the prophetess that I listened to, she's on the fire ministry, you know, and she has been going strong and, and it's been an encouragement. So I am using my son's laptop and he has left this behind. And I pray that going forward, when the scripture says that they go, he's going to raise them from their graves, I'm ready to see him again with that big old red hair. <laughs> he has so much woolly thick hair, you know, that I'm excited. My sister my dad I have so many relatives that I love and I miss and I pray that I'm a good servant a good sheep so that when I see the Messiah again he can say they over there <laughs> go over there they right there they waiting for you and you know and I pray that you too have your ancestors and loved ones that's waiting for you over there and when we're in the wilderness and when we get into the Holy Land, the promised land, hallelujah, that we can sit and learn and edu and then our people will stand there while we're learning and protect the surroundings and they do what they're supposed to do, our saviors. <laughs> so this is, you know, my new setup and I pray that I will learn how to do the green screen. So I'm open for any comments, any suggestions. You know, my baby left so many technical things. He built the computer. He got the monitors. He got so many products that, um, electronics, that, and he was a gamer, you know, and he did this every day. So it's only encouraging that I do it. You know, I usually... Um, post scriptures you know so that's how I was sharing information so I would watch our videos and I would read scriptures and I'm so heavy on sharing them and you know so I pray that that helps you I pray that y'all have your fringes on or dresses ladies and the fringes on your shirts men you know, so we have to keep up with the laws, statutes, and commandments, you know, and do it to the best of our ability. You know, the feast days are here, the, um, the uh, tabernacle of dedication. And I'm, I'm saying that, you know, I just want to be in the spirit, you know, all the time, not just for the eight days, you know, but to love and appreciate the Most High Yah and his um, nation, his people. And when we go into the gates and we're um, enjoying each other in the feast days and the holy days that, you know, we're like, listen, I already know he knows the Most High Yah. Um, you already know the laws. You already know the commandments. You already know the statutes, you know. And so the, that work is not in vain. But I've been doing this since 2009. And um, now that it's, you know, more, um, more awakening, more sharing and edification. And I see the post where I've shared um, memes of the scattered sheep and memes of who we are. That I'm so grateful, I'm so humbled and grateful that I, uh, it wasn't the wrong course to take, you know. So now that it's to 2020 and it's soon to be 2021, at my age, I'm okay. Hallelujah. All glory to the Most High Yah. And 
and um, I'm sitting in my son's gaming chair and that's his green screen and those are his plaques and stuff and just keep me in remembrance that you know he did this he did it even if it felt funny he did it he did it well a very good job you know so I'm proud of him and just wanted to take this time to come out this way and you know I've got my hair covered <laughs> I have my long dress on. <laughs> this is my son's earring. You know, so it just reminds me that when you go to the Most High, yeah, you leave everything behind. You leave your blood behind. And that was before cameras. That was before CCTVs. <laughs> you know, where um, Cain and Abel and his blood was on the ground and it alerted the most high that Cain did that okay you know so it's a reminder to me that um, yeah my son left and he left everything behind even the earring in his ear so going forward I pray that we continue this mission that we come together as his children and we keep learning and seeking Yah and his son Yahushua HaMashiach. And I'm grateful for the Gentiles that have clinged to us and are speaking the word of the Most High Yah. You know, and just to name one that I follow and I share is um, Brother Dana Stevens. And he has been in our midst and have been enlightening his own people to the errors of their ways so when judgment comes down <laughs> it is justified so we can see news now that shows us oh thank you father their judgment and their judgment is upon them so all we have to do is watch it saddens me to see our people you know being shot and killed but then it reminds me of scripture that says don't mind what they do to the body you fear what the most high could do to the spirit and the soul so even though they fill in their cup of raft and they're going to get it doubled the most high already knows so, just like Eve ate the apple, Adam and Eve ate the apple. So, all of this in scriptures was already prophesied. The people who lost their life, they didn't lose it, lose it. Because scripture says that all Israelites will be saved. And he's going to raise, um, raise the ones that were slain in their graves. He's going to put their bones together. He's going to give them new skin. And, you know, all that hair they must have. <laughs> Big old afros. And he's going to breathe life into them again. Which means their spirit will come back into them again. And some will be raised to reign with Christ and meet us in the sky hallelujah some would do their will so we got the preachers which the preachers are going to be the hunters it's going to be justified so I pray that you are aware awoke um, determined vigilant you know, know who your heavenly father is. Because I don't see children really afraid of their dad and their mom until they show them fear. But when you know that your dad is and your 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 father is around, <laughs> you have a different type of attitude. 
of protection, of surety. And then if you have an older brother, which, you know, I don't I haven't met them, but, you know, I probably do have older brothers, but in my uh, intermediate family, I don't have any older brothers, but Yahusha HaMashiach is, represents that to me, even though he's my shepherd and my king, that, you know, to know that my older brother came through this way and he knows who's who, that he is acceptable to my heavenly father, that he is going to do the judgment because he hasn't, didn't have a purpose here. Like, you know, his purpose was to be a, a random, uh, a sacrifice, a holy sacrifice to the children, his, his chosen people. Hallelujah. But like me, I don't have any like major ambitions in this world. You know, but just to survive and have my child and, you know, spend time with my family and, you know, and find the Father, the Holy Father, and what He wants us to do. Now that I found Him, He found me and know that He loved me first. He chose me and I choose to be with Him. Hallelujah. And, you know, my Holy F Brother, Yahushua HaMashiach, to the Most High. All glory, peace, and blessings be upon his soul. And the other prophets that came, peace and blessings be upon their soul. Thank you for this opportunity. You know, share with people, like it, make your comments. I appreciate it. Thank you so much.